Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, G, and we are here for Dawn's 100 Lady slash 100 Baby Challenge. It's Thursday. Woo! I don't know why I'm so excited this week. I'm just pumped to get back. It kind of feels like it was just the other day we were with Dawn, but it's been a week, apparently. Who knew? So, oh, I didn't mean to wake you up. Sorry, Dawn. So, this lovely lady standing by the bed is Lilith Batore. I don't know what outfit she's got on. But uh, you good for you, sis. But looks like we just hooked up with her, which is fantastic. I'm not sure what lady number she is. Probably 14 or so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, indeed, 14. We'll put Dawn back to sleep. But yeah, not a bad start. In the last episode, um, do catch... Yes! Did you see that? Did you see it? Did you see it? Yes, 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 yes. We're going to have a vampire baby. We are going to have a vampire baby. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Done. You dirty dog, Don. Even the undead can't <laughs> get away from his advances. Oh, brilliant news. Um, anyway, what I was saying, go watch the last episode if you didn't see it, because our first two babies grew up to become toddlers and we gave them new names inspired by all things love and Don. So we've got Adonis and Casanova and they are adorable, if I do say so myself. I mean, they're not my genes, so I just kind of spruce them up a bit, if you like. I'm just going to speed on through now. And yeah, it was... Oh, who's this? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, two two things. It's all good. Oh my God, it's all going off now. Lilith Pleasant has had one male baby with Don Lothario. Okay, there's another boy. The boys are still winning, I think, at the moment. So yeah, before this popped up and we had a new baby, these two have turned into toddlers too. So we've got Arab, Langrob, and what did I say Langrob? <laughs> I got super posh then. And Araceli, Araceli. I'm going to be glad to change her name if I'm honest with you guys. I think if you've watched a few of these, you know that I struggle to pronounce it every time. So I'm excited. We're going to give these guys a makeover now and we're going to give them some new names. <gasps> and yeah, we've got a new baby. Which one's a new baby? Tristan? Tristan Pleasant. Yeah, it must be Tristan. Welcome to the team, Tristan Lothario. We will change your name eventually, but oh, exciting. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go jump into Cass now like I did in the last one, and we're going to go... Oh, my God, Trent! Sorry. <laughs> guys, it's all happening. We've got another little... Oh, that's Della's baby. Okay, we're going to go give Trent a makeover and new name too. Oh, you're going to get all the Cass today, guys. Okay, let's jump in, and I will see you in a minute. Bye. So first up is our little boy Trent, who is Delicacy's baby, and I want to give a shout out to Just Your Typical Gamer. Thank you so much for supporting all of these 100 Baby Challenge episodes and everything else on my channel. You're amazing. And thank you so much for suggesting the name Aiden. So your comment was, I thought of the name Aiden in case you need some names. It's Irish fire, like Don's fiery love. And I love it. And Aiden is such a cute name as well. So it's perfect. So this is Aiden Gracie, Delicacy's baby. And I don't know about you guys, but I can really see the family resemblance. Like, I think it's the shape of the cheeks, like the really amazing cheekbones and also the cute little eyes. I just really see him looking a lot like Delicacy. So I thought he was absolutely adorable. So, so cute. And up next is little Araceli and I immediately switched it out to something a lot easier to pronounce. Love. <laughs> Love Lothario. And does she not look like mini Nancy? I think it's the hair as well, like <laughs> green eyes, that hair, there's kind of a snootiness about her face. She does look like mini Nancy, like completely. And it's hysterical to me. I adore these toddlers. I just love how they don't all look the same. Like as much as I love the Sims 3, and I know I'm gonna get a load of hate this, I do feel like toddlers in the Sims 3 didn't have as much unique face shapes and face styles as they do in the Sims 4. Please don't come at me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I kept along the theme of keeping her looking quite fancy. And in fact, I do the same for her brother. I try and make them look a little bit more posh because obviously we know the land grabs got crazy amount of money and only the best would do for these twins. So yeah, this is a little love Lothario. Oh, I love that they've got a blondie. I was kind of low-key worried that all of the babies were gonna have dark hair because black obviously is such a strong gene, but no, we were fine. Ara, he is so cute. He, I think, <gasps> I have to say one, I think he's the cutest one we've had so far. 
look at that little face i think it's the freckles it's all put on him and just the big eyes and i'm in love guys look how cute he is so we've called him eros and eros is a god of love basically and i thought it'd make the perfect perfect name another one of don's babies and yeah again like i did with his sister love i've tried to make him wearing lots of like fancy fancy clothes fancy outfits as if he's kind of from a bit of a better background but i'm just obsessed with him i can't wait to see how he grows up i think we're gonna have some good looking sims guys which is just what you'd expect from don's jeans and also i was worried do you was nancy langrab i've never had to have a girl before do you think love will inherit some of the plasticky features from, from Nancy? Is in like, you know, the fake boobs and the, the lips and all this kind of stuff. Will love have those kind of weird proportions? Slightly worried about that, but there we go. Anyway, this is a beautiful little error off my cherub. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed seeing the baby makeovers. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, like I said. I just think they're just the most precious adorable I mean I think we all think that our toddlers are adorable in this I just I'm in love with all of them which is appropriate given their names um why are we staring at a dirty pudding come on Don so what I thought I would do quickly next is I'm going to just pause time so he doesn't age or anything for a moment and then I'm gonna get all of these women back over invite them over so that we can make use of our new photo studio. I mean, studio is a bit of a generous word, obviously. We made it last episode and absolutely tiny because that's all Don can afford right now. But I'm going to go get them back over and get some photos so we can start making our wall because then it'd be easier for us to do it as we go in the future episodes. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to jump back in and show you. And then depending on how much time we've got left, we can look for Lucky Lady 15. So I don't know, I'm staring at that. <laughs> I hope that that's all good for you. Don is certainly up for it, as usual. So yeah, see you in a second. Okay, so it only took one sim day in the end. And here you can see, I figured I would just do small little, por small little portraits of the ladies, just because it would get out of hand if they were sort of huge ones. So as you can see, we've got everybody in here so far. I tried to vary up the poses and everything and try and take into account what the personality was, although now i'm looking at it i can see that we've got people doing the same thing next to each other i mean i might reorganize it and do it from like first to last and then just keep sort of adding to it as i'm going down the wall <laughs> um kind of into this area but while don's sleeping it actually we look at the money we've got 1659 simoleons and all of that is from taking photos of all of these women and then selling all the others because we only needed one of each type so i kept the best one for the wall and sold the rest that so he got that and he also got really good reputation because i think it's a bit glitchy isn't it yeah look, pristine reputation as if don lothario would have that <gasps> stop hold it hold it hold it what's this baby born hello don l here i wanted to let you know that you just had a baby clint beautiful baby boy clint that reminds me of what is it stardew valley does anyone else play stardew valley i love that game Good old Clint. Well, we'll be changing that name soon enough. As soon as it becomes a toddler, but thank you, Al, for that. We literally just saw her. Yes, she was just over for... Uh... <laughs> when I said yes to myself, I really sounded like Juno Birch. Does anyone else watch Juno Birch? She's an amazing um, drag queen, and she plays The Sims 2 on YouTube. So if you haven't checked out Juno Birch playing The Sims 2, what are you waiting for? Do it. It's hysterical. You will love it. But anyway, moving on. Right, we've got a little bit of time left in this episode, I think. So that means we can look for lady number 15. Oh, unless we have any more babies age up into toddlers. And then the whole episode would pretty much be makeovers. But who are we going to pick? What a lovely lady. Still can't get over what Shannon's wearing. Come on, Shannon. Claire is just a distant memory. And someone actually mentioned that it's because she's saving herself for Abel. So, you know, if you've watched Claire's one series, then yes, that's probably fair. Vanessa. I'm feeling Vanessa today. Let's try Vanessa Jong. I literally never played her. I think she was just too outlet for me. When it comes to like aesthetics, I'm pretty plain and boring. I try and push myself when it comes to like my drag makeovers and stuff, but overall, I'm just not that exciting. So when I saw Vanessa Jong, like I loved her hair and it was definitely a look, but I was just kind of a bit like, whoa, she's a bit kooky for me. I don't know how to play a sim like her. There's Vanessa gone. Seriously, guys, where did she just go? 
What? Am I being really dumb? I'm looking for the tech boy's hair. Vanessa Jung has literally just vanished from our... <laughs> I guess I have... Oh, no, she's there. Well, I swear, guys, she was not there a minute ago. I swear she wasn't there a second ago. <laughs> I offended her when I was saying she was too out there and kooky. I'm sorry. <laughs> this game is so weird. Is it glitchy? John is still feeling flirty. I think it's because he saw all of his girlfriends in one day yesterday when I was taking his pictures, so. Right, let's see if Vanessa wants to go on a date. I mean, I don't blame her for not, because she doesn't know the guy, but... Okay, yeah, it's a no. Vanessa, please, send her a chat. Okay, let's just go out on a happy happy text adventure somewhere. Don, are you texting in the loo? Oh, not very hygienic, is it? Hey, yeah, Vanessa. This is how I think he sounds. Hey, Vanessa, so... Just wondered. Do you remember me? It's it's Don. Don Lothario? Oh, Lilith, go away. No, not you, darling. You're already pregnant. Come on, Vanessa. Here we go. I agree, John. It's a great day. Good. I mean, sure, we can get <laughs> coffee, but I mean... When people say coffee, don't they normally mean something else? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh... Oh, I love my makeover I gave her. I totally forgot about it. That's a weird thing to say, but sometimes you just got to back yourself, haven't you? Okay, Vanessa, do you want to join our women's wall? <laughs> it's really feminist and great. Some of the greatest ladies from the game are on there. And you would stand out really well with your amazing haircut. Don's just saying cringy stuff like, I'd never feel blue with you around. Wait, what? Bee attack? What on earth are you talking about? Why is there a bee attack? I've ne- Don. <laughs> He's like, I was a complete wuss with the bees, but you know, I'm super pumped. Don, stop it! What? <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, who is this guy? Practice flirting. Don, what? <laughs> Don's possessed. Why is he running like that? Why? Don, what's got into you? Are you okay, hun? What, is, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, this game. What's he doing now? Stop stretching. She's not even here. I don't even know what just happened, guys. He got attacked by bees out of nowhere. Then he started flexing to try and make up for being a bit of a wuss from the bees. And then he started running off to go practice flirting, even though. Did his confidence drop because of the bee attack? Look, your girl's being chatted up by Bafo Jang, so you might want to get involved. Look alive, where are you? Come on over here. Come on, Don. No girlfriends in here, so this is prime time to try and chat her up. Compliment her outfit. Why are all these other people in the conversation? Go away. Compliment outfit, nice. Oh, I think I just did that. Oops. Heartfelt compliment. He's being very nice. Super romantic compliment, that sounds like you, Don. I have got the new updated Kawaii Stacy Slice of Life mod in, so maybe the bee attack is from that. You make me feel like a woman. <laughs> he said that to Vanessa Jong. I mean, I have given him a drag makeover, like I said before, so I'm not really sure how to take that. Don! <laughs> He's so excited to be out on a date with a new lady. He's so funny. Who is this guy giving us evils? Go away, sir. Who are you? Thomas Munoz? Back off, please. Flat. Oh, you're going to ruin this for us. Okay, it's fine. She's still interested. This guy's pretending he can't hear the awkward conversation. Oh, I love that name. Duke. Duke Leon. Give her another romantic compliment, just because I want to see what comes next after you make me feel like a woman. It's something like Shania Twain song. Man, I feel like a woman. Well. Well. That was bad. What's up, Dawn? One of my friends heard about you, how great you are, and has been asking for a number. Yes, it's the lady. I'll go for it. This isn't going well, guys. This is really not going well because all these people won't... I was going to say a reword then. 
go away. Can I send them home? No. How do I get them out of my conversation? Right, Don, we're going to have to do something desperate. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Come and sit together alone over here. Get these people away because they're ruining it. It's so... Oh, well, now she, she's more interested in talking to... That's Simeon. Why? Sorry, Don, I'm making you look like a fool, but I'm trying to get her... No. Okay, this is awkward. She is... Wow. Oh, I'll finally go get some food. I think this is where we're going to have to leave it today, guys, because she's literally cracking on with Simeon Silver Sweater, of all people, right in front of us. Fine. I gave you an amazing makeover, Vanessa John, and this is how you repay us. Where's Don gone? Don what? Oh, he's literally, he's, he's completely bailed. He's like, I'm out of that. Oh, Don, what are we going to do with you, eh? I think it might have been the bee attack and then the constant flexing that put her off, but, well, I think we're going to leave this episode here because of this snake in the background. She turned us down. What is she doing? Yeah, we're going to leave it here. We've achieved a lot, and um, I'm pleased with the adorable, adorable babies that we've got. They are so freaking cute. <gasps> I think we're going to have some gorgeous Don babies, but... um. Yeah, hopefully... Oh, he's going to go chat up a blimmin' celebrity now. Let's watch him fail. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And take care. See you soon. Bye.